مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد آه نعود لكم الان آه قبل لا نبدا في سيرفي على الطاوله امام كل كرسي نتمنى منكم تعبئته وتركوا في مكانه سوف يتكفل المنظمين باخذه بعد بعد الفعاليه اليوم نشهد تطور كبير في تواصل الات ببعضها ماشين تو ماشين او لغه الالات تطور تكنولوجيا الذكاء الصناعي اصبح عندنا هاتف ذكي واصبح عندنا سائق ذكي وطيار ذكي وبيوت ذكيه من المتوقع ان يصل ان يصل عدد الالات المتصله بالالات في منطقه الشرق الاوسط وشمال افريقيا الى 27.7 مليون جهاز بحلول 2020 الاستاذ ايهاب الخياري خبير في تكنولوجيا المعلومات والاتصالات راح يكون معنا الان في اداره الجلسه التاليه تفضل استاذ ايهاب الخياري شكرا يس بليز Is it working? Yes, it is working. أولاً نمسيكم بالخير جميعاً وإحنا we're sorry for running late late. It is quite challenging when you need بعد الغداء. Challenging إنه to keep you engaged. لكن إن شاء الله we will do our best. Topic حقنا not only very dear to 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 our heart. احنا عندنا اكسبرت في الـ في الـ في الاريا في الـ في الاندستري هذه وير هابي تو هاف ذيم بارت اوف ذا بانل وات اي لايك ذا واي اي لايك تو انتروديوس السيشن موست اوف ذا سيشنز اللي موجوده اليوم او بكره او غيره توكس او ديلز بالحاضر البريزنت وي ار تيكينج يو تو ذا فيوتشر اند ليترلي ذس concept technology revolution will revolution our whole life hayatana kullha rah titghayyar the way min min yom probably tisha alayn ma tnam literally it will change the way we live alyom i'm happy and no i will be run i will be running a video saghir just to put things in the right perspective but before then allow me ni ana اقدم آه ضيوفنا آه ابدا باكرم آه الحداد سي او الرئيس التنفيذي لشركه آه سي تي سي كرييتيف تيليكوم كومباني انا واز بلانينج تو ستارت وذ طارق بس بدينا آه باكرم آه اكرم آه خلينا بلاش نتكلم كثير عنه تشوفوه في الكفر حق الانتربرنور فور ذس فور ذس اديشن سو ذس از ذس از انف اوف انتروداكشن لكن ما شاء الله هي آه CTC is a leading system, telecom system integrator providers with the special focus and attention حقهم على the IoT. Tarek Turki, the country system engineer manager of for Cisco. By saying Cisco, that tells everything. ما نحتاج نتكلم أكثر. The global technology leader في العالم. ما يحتاج. They enable most of our network, if not the great part of the network collaboration. When it comes to communication, Cisco is is. We have to say we have to say the name Cisco. And now, today, he's our subject matter expert when it comes to the IoT. Oh, well, we're not talking about it. I'm saying IoT. It's a machine to machine. Our panel, but we would like to make it general. So let's call it the Internet of Things, the IoT. We all the way from a lovely city, San Diego. Another Akram, يعني is coming. He's the business develop business development manager of Quan Energy. Quan Energy. Akram bin Mubarak. Where are you coming from, ya Akram? Bin Mubarak. Ah, لا لا إحنا عارفين السيليكون بعده بس أنت originally من فين؟ مراكو أنت أيوة. أهلا بكم مراكو حبايبنا. فطبعا thank you for coming all the way over from. 
from San Diego and uh, the U.S. We uh, actually, and I, I had a small chat with Akram. We, literally, we don't uh, we don't manipulate the industry. They're talking about disrupting the the whole industry when it comes to sensors and other technology that he will be sharing with us. With that said. ممكن لو سمحت يا يو ران ذا فيديو ممكن لو سمحت ذا فيديوز اند ذن وي ويل ستارت باي ناو يو ماي هاف هيرد ذا تيرم انترنت اوف ثينجز ساوندز انترستنج بت وات دوز ذا انترنت اوف ثينجز اكشولي مين اي او تي از ان ايفولوشن اوف موبايل هوم اند امبيدد ابلكيشنز ذات ار بين كونكتد تو ذا انترنت انتجريتنج جريتر كمبيوت كابيبيليتيز اند يوزينج داتا اناليتكس تو اكستراكت مينينغفول انفورميشن Billions of devices will be connected to the internet, and soon, hundreds of billions of devices. As related devices connect with each other, they can become an intelligent system of systems. And when these intelligent devices and systems of systems share data over the cloud and analyze it, they can transform our businesses, our lives, and our world in countless ways. Whether it's improving medical outcomes. Creating better products faster with lower development costs, making shopping more enjoyable, or optimizing energy generation and consumption. Here's an example of the big picture. Imagine an intelligent device such as a smart traffic camera. The camera can monitor the road for congestion, accidents, and weather conditions, and communicate that status to a gateway that combines it with data from other cameras. Creating an intelligent city-wide traffic system. Now imagine that intelligent traffic system connected to other city-wide transportation systems, which get data from their own intelligent devices, creating an ever larger intelligent system of systems. The really big possibilities come from analyzing the end-to-end -end data across that system of systems. For example, let's say the city's intelligent traffic system detects massive congestion due to an accident. That insight can be sent to the city-wide transportation system, which can analyze the accident's impact on other city systems. Recognizing the accident is near the airport and two city schools, it could notify those systems so they can adjust flight and school schedules. It can also analyze and derive optimal routes around the accident and send those instructions to the city's digital signage system to guide drivers around the accident. And that's just one example of the potential benefits that can happen when intelligent devices share insight with other systems, forming ever-expanding systems of systems. But how do we? So uh, we're we're how do we going to talk about the machine of the machine to machine or IoT? We're going to talk about the manarif. What size of the market? Why we're very interested? Why every technology company? As, as interested, if we talk, we, you just name it. كل كل all technology, كبار, Cisco, Google, Microsoft, uh, uh, Apple, everyone, every every literally every com, uh, technology. اليوم, if you if you talk to anyone, when a technologist would go, what is the future? Uh, the name of IoT, VR, big data, and all others names comes up. IoT comes on the top of the list. Sorry. So Cisco is the market, one of the the, the players of the great, يعني leaders in this في uh, the technology. So what is Cisco is doing في في the IoT? Uh, we know into عندكم ما شاء الله a lot of initiatives on global or local level. But let's say let's start with Cisco. Um, Thank you, Ab. Um, Cisco, what we we have realized around about 10 years ago that digitization, or what as we call it today, is IoT. It's really a game changer. It's a disruptor. And what we see today now that if you do not go with the change, you will be out of business. There is a statistics out that five out of ten companies today will no longer exist in five years. It's because of this digital transformation. For example, um, if you go to like Amazon Go, you see the new supermarkets of the I future. I'm very happy you started with this example. And uh, Amazon Go. As a lovely concept, طبعا الفيديو طلع وشوف لك هون هذا. يعني this is a way one way of changing and people were very let's say يعني كنا شفنا كتير comments على الموضوع ده. It went very viral and the 
podcast is a very great, great application to start with. It is. The story, I mean, I love the story. I love the way they, they look at how to change and disrupt the future. So what they're doing is there's a lot of in, uh, backwards. In the, when you look at gathering a lot of information of individuals, of people, of products that are being sold, how to position products. So then, uh, they're really optimizing, and they're looking at how to go to market for the individual. So today you see Amazon will change the future of how supermarkets work. Today there's a few digitizations happening in, let's say, the retail supermarket area, where they're just looking at your MAC address to see which aisles you go in, which aisles you don't, but they really don't know what you're buying. Right, and Amazon is doing that. They're really digging into the next layer. So when, when we want to revert back to machine to machine, right, that's just the main topic. And I don't like the word machine to machine because the next generation is really deep learning. It's the next two, three, four layers that we're going to really we dig will, deep into. We will into. come to that. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, let's go back to Cisco. So back to, uh, back to disruption. Into, right? into enablers. If in this exactly. Case. So what, what are you offering? What so, are you coming with? So daily? we realize disruption is there. So we started with the IoT, uh, enabling the routers and the infrastructure, making the foundation for IoT to really be there. And we've reached the conclusion uh, or the point breaking that we need to really start changing. And we change by one of them is adopting the Jasper. Jasper is an IoT platform that enables corporations from enterprises and retails to really connect those IoT devices over SIM-based or non-SIM-based and control them remotely. So you can see even us as Cisco, we're moving away from just basic routing and switching. The acquisition had been done, but when it happened? Uh, I think about two years ago two it years happened. Ago. The integration is still happening, but it's really pushed the momentum within the U.S. We really see it moving forward. I, I, I'll, I'll, we will come and cover this in the alliances with acquisition. It happened on the other ecosystem Good. and that. Uh, now, now go back to as, as well to disruption. You see, there are countries now em emerging, and these countries, France, Germany, the UK, uh, Mexico, India, and Saudi Arabia now has become one. With the, uh, His Royal Highness really looking at seeing the disruption and the uh, digitization is the way to move forward, and you can see this in the NTP Plan 2020, which is the first checkpoint of digitization enabling. And then the final vision to 2020. Uh, Tariq, can I stop you here? And uh, I would love to come and revisit that okay. topic with that. I know we saw a senior executive coming from Cisco Global uh, to Saudi to, 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 be, to take part in the vision اللي, and the, the transformation in the London side. So we'll come to that topic and uh, we'll see what can you share or what you cannot share. But anyway, okay. let me move to Akram. Akram. Uh, and I'll come to you. That is tight. It's fine. Akram, start by telling us why you will disrupt the, 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 the industry. And uh, you mentioned a few things in back in the break. Yeah. Yani, uh, and you actually, actually, you spent my head. Yani, but please, Gulnana. Uh, Thank you. Um, well, uh, if you allow me, I would like to first, um, for the sake of uh, giving uh, the audience a reference, First, by defining uh, what is IoT, because there are some people who are not really, uh, who come from other digital applications and space, who would really we, want to know what IoT means. That's why we played the video, but by all means, please. Follow. Sure. Um, uh, because when, when I'll def give you the, the definition, I can play a place where it would disrupt. Um, so plain and simple, uh, the IoT is basically the, the different technologies that allow you to collect data uh, and transfer it, uh, all data that are related to the location and the information and the condition of assets and people. So uh, your phone has sensors, your thermostat has sensors, and now uh, sensors have existed for a long time. What, what has changed is the way we exploit that data 
and the way that data is available today. So that's what allowing the internet of things. And what we do at Quanergy uh, is, is disruptive because we are a small component uh, that is enabling things. It's a, it's a different type of sensor, but it's a sensor that is very rich and it's not passive, it's an active passer, uh, sensor. Um, so a little bit about Quanergy, I think it's, it's worth stopping for how, a few how, seconds. Wh what do you mean by active? Uh, it's active in a sense, it's just, it's a, it, it gives you a lot of data, uh, 3D, it, it, it measures and uh, it, uh, ser uh, it serves as a functionality, not just as a data. For example, for security, it detects. You, know, you tell it, uh, okay, I want to detect people and I want an alarm when I see people. Okay, so it's, uh, it's very, it's very uh, active. So, um, so going back to Quanergy, uh, the reason why I want to stop, uh, stop a little bit and, and, and introduce Quanergy is because it's one of the uh, most uh, uh, successful, it's a unicorn. I don't know if you know what a unicorn is in Silicon Valley. It's basically a startup that is worth over a billion dollar and we just raised about uh, over hundred million dollars at a 1.6 billion dollars valuation. And uh, the reason why I want to talk about it is, is because uh, our founder and CEO is uh, is Arab. Yes. Uh, he's Lebanese, uh, and uh, he just uh, he he was born in Lebanon, and uh, he got his PhD in Colombia, and that's how he started. Which I want to bring this as a as a point of inspiration for the youth out there, uh, where there is no excuse where you're born. Uh, and he, uh, and hopefully, one day in the audience we will have a billion dollar. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Well, inshallah, Arab. Inshallah. Why not? <coughs> this is other disruptions. IoT and adapting to digitization. These are the new companies that you're going to find out you know, really exponentially growing. Yeah. So, uh, so how how is Quanergy disrupting the space? How is it is it such a hot story in Silicon Valley? Uh, so, in, in IoT, you have different sensors collect. Uh, taking advantage of the connection of internet and, and connecting different, di connecting your phone with your fridge, connecting your car with your garage. Uh, uh, the sensor that Quanergy makes is a, called the LiDAR sensor. It's a laser, it's a light sensor. It's called uh, laser and range. Uh, it's a sensor that measures anything it detects within a 3D, within a tri uh, 3D dimension. Uh, so within uh, about, Ten times a second, one sensor can scan this room, and ten times a second can give you measurement of everything it sees, in terms of how many people, how big those people are, what's their width, what's their height, if they're moving, at what speed, what is the intensity. So, therefore, it is the key sensor to enable the self-driving car. Uh, to enable the, uh, robots, to enable unmanned drones, uh, 3D mapping, so on and so forth. But the and largest market and is and the and automotive industry, and that's why we're so, so disruptive. Lovely. I wish you will access a great success uh, story. I'd love to see, inshallah, much more to come. We will hopefully, we'll, we'll see such uh, coming from this country and this region as well. Uh, Akram. Inter mashallah, you started uh, CTC? No. no, you did not. But your hand, over, yes. you took over CTC with one, with one vision. Uh, you're putting IoT as uh, as your uh, uh, as a, your roadmap. You build it probably around every services around it, putting that vision on uh, in, in place. So uh, why IoT? في بصراحة شكرا لعرض نت على على ال على الاستضافة. وبصراحة هو رايت right تايم الآن لأنه إحنا الآن إذا بنتكلم عن ال revolution حق ال IoT أو إنترنت الأشياء إذا إذا حبينا نعربها هي ال هي الثورة القادمة إحنا الآن في البيك أو في مرحلة الانطلاق يعني هي ال optimum تبع ال ال الثورة هذه حيوصل by 2020 طبعا هي حتمر بثلاث مراحل أنا إذا سمحت لي بس ال ال go very very quickly 
And what is our experience? يعني إحنا اليوم كلوكال سعودي كمباني إيش اللي سوينا؟ إيش اللي استفدنا؟ يمكن اليوم عندنا من الحضور في ناس ممبرز أو موظفين أو أفراد أو زائرين أو شركات. What is in it for me? What is it? We say we'll come to the point. What's for me? What is in it for me? Why am I interested? إحنا اليوم نتكلم عن الثورة المشين تمشين أو ال Internet of Thing أو Internet الأشياء. اليوم أنا الكل حيشارك في الثورة هذه يعني هو التاريخ يعيد نفسه. إحنا let's go back in 2007 لما بدت ثورة السمارت فون لما أول ما أعلنوا أبل عن الآيفون فكان في عندك ريزيستنس في ناس قبلوا الثورة هذه كسمارت فون وإميديتلي وينت أند بوتت وفي ناس لا قال لك أنا أز لونج إنه التليفون أو الجوال عندي يتصل ويرسل رسائل أي دونت نيد أ سمارت فوين إت ستارتد لما بدت كانت لكجري تو هاف إنه مو أي أحد أو إنه اللي بياخذ السمارت فون يعني حاجة واو اليوم نو تايم صار مانداتوري انا اتحدى اليوم احد من الحضور اليوم اول ذا اودينس سواء كانوا اللي في القاعه او اللي خارج القاعه ما عنده سمارت فون وي كان نوت ليف ويز اوت ات فاليوم ات از مانداتوري اتس نوت ا لكجري اني مور الان التاريخ يعيد نفسه اليوم احنا ذيس از ذا ريفولوشن بس هاو ماني ييرز ديد ات تيك من السمارت فونز تو بيكم ما بقول كوموديتي اتس نوت يعني بس ليتس سي الادابتيشن So we're seeing the same thing in the IoT as well. Yes. Uh, when I'm happy to see that we have on the panel enablers, technologists, uh, uh, integrators or service providers, so they tell us how long will it take? Yani, and I just uh, to, yani, to put things in uh, the language The internet started for uh, the internet for people. Today, the internet is not for people anymore. It's the internet for things, for the devices. We're going to go back and talk about it, but I would love you to... Do we have a number? Connected devices? The growth of traffic of Internet of Things will be about 277 times what it is today. 277 times. So almost 300, yeah. So you're looking at nearly 75% or 60% 60 to 70% of the traffic of the Internet will be IoT. It won't be users. IoT. It will be IoT. If we take it in the language deep, today I'm going to talk about لما اجي انا اليوم اتكلم عن الانترنت او الكونكتد ديفايس اليوم الانديكيشن او الانطباع اللي يجي عند اي واحد انه الكونكتد ديفايس تو انترنت عباره عن لابتوب او او الايباد او فون نو no. 2020 بالاحصائيات بالارقام الكونكتد ديفايسز اذر ذان السمارت فون واللابتوبس والايبادز ضعفين الرقم هذا مجتمع يعني انت اذا جمعت يعني حتكلم عن اولموست وورد وايد يعني الاخوان يمكن عطوا في البريف على منطقه الشرق الاوسط لكن نتكلم على وورد وايد حنتكلم عن اكثر من 35 مليار كونكتد ديفايس يعني احنا وي ليف ان ا سمارت وورد ذيس از ذا بوينت اليوم ايفري ثينك حولك حيكون سمارت يعني احنا بدينا اليوم قاعدين نسمع صار عندنا سمارت ووتش سمارت كار سمارت تشير سمارت ايفري ثينك از سمارت سو انا ام اسيومينج باي 220 حيكون ايفري ثينك اراوند اس از سمارت When I say smart, that means it has an IP. When it has an IP, it has to connect to the internet. But once it is connected, the peak to be in 2020. What should I do? Today, I'm an individual or a company. We started with CTC, like any company. So, when we won CTC with a company that is an entrepreneur, an innovative company, it was for that reason. The company was founded in 2008. In 2016, we launched CTC. In 2016, we see there is a revolution of IoT. So how can I be part of that revolution as a company? We know that لما أنا أتكلم عن ال IoT أو أتكلم عن الريفولوشن اللي حيصير معناه أنا حيصير عندي infrastructure مخيف في موضوع ال connectivity لأنه أنا أحتاج infrastructure قوي جدا to support حجم ال connected devices to be connected to the internet. في نفس الوقت everyone سواء على قطاع الأعمال أو على قطاع الأفراد has the right to use the technology. So we came up with that. I need to simplify. the use of the technology, I give it as a cost-effective solution, and come up with the new vision of the entire country. اللي هي اليوم أنا أخلق efficiency في نفس الوقت يصير عندي profit center. الجميع يربح. أنا أروح اليوم للمستفيد النهائي سواء كان consumer أو كان قطاع عمل. How do I offer the technology to him? اليوم إحنا نتكلم كسيسكو. سيسكو one of the leaders. سيسكو is a vendor. HP, Dell, Intel. Everybody today announce the adoption. تبع الريفولوشن تبع الاي او تي انا قبل ثلاثة شهور تقريبا انتل اعلن انتل شركه قويه وعالميه جدا 
فالمانفاكشرنج حق البروسيسرز مالي احنا كنا نعرفهم في المانفاكشر تبع البروسيسز في البي سيز في الشيبسيت نعم في الشيبس اند بي سيز اتس نوت اني مور قالوا احنا حنغير الرود ماب تبعنا حنصير مانفاكشرز للبروسيسرز تبع الكونكتد ديفايسز ريليتد للاي او تي سو ايفري بادي از تشينجينج وين دو وي سي اول كومنت جست بس على شغله وبعدين وي جو تو موف اون زي ما زي ما تفضلت النمبرز انا اتليست انا عندنا ارقام اللي تقول باي 2020 yeah. اكرم كم قلت 37 35 مليار 35 بليون جهاز سم اوف ذا ستاتستكس سيز 50 بليون حيكون عدد سكان العالم 7.6 7.5 بليون سكان uh, في 50 او 35 بليون uh, جهاز um, والسوق يتوقعوا جلوبالي انا سينج بالعكس احنا وي لاف تو سي الارقام هنا بس لسه ما احنا ما حنتكلم على ادابتيشن والابلكيشن جلوبالي وي ار توكينج اباوت 11 تريليون دولار اتس ا فيري بيج فيري بيج نمبر فذات تيلز يو واي كل التكنولوجي كومبانيز ار موفينج انتو ذات دايركشن ات ويل افكت الاوتوموبيلز الاندستريال موبايل ام هيل الهيلث It will take it will take over uh, all over our كل uh, حياة جوانب حياتنا all of our life aspects. Um, but يعني probably the message is from the panelists إنه whether whether uh, طالب أو طالبة أو professional أو أو work أو businessman or uh, uh, corporate you Engineer. need to look at how IoT can be, make your life better, efficient and protective. Uh, and definitely it will hit impact the bottom line the cost حق the saving um so we go back tarik طبعا احنا هنا نتكلم على على اللو يعني we will talk about انت you mentioned since you you brought up the uh, go uh, amazon go yes. let's talk about عندنا هنا فين نشوف ال... يعني احنا اول ما انا اعتقد ويمكن اكون غلطان بس العفو اول ما نشوف هو الفيكل تراكينج That is how started. Uh, you would like to comment on that, but what is next? What? How do we? What are we going to do? You have a great effort you're doing on smart cities. You would like to comment on smart cities? You would like to bring other I mean, Cisco's contribution with value? Uh, we, we are looking at, okay, how do you want your cities or communities or buildings or homes to be looked at in the future? So what are the enablers in there? So we all know the infrastructure is the, the foundation. So that's over and done with. We're done with that. Machine to machine was the first level, right, of integrating all these components together. But they were localized. They were in little bubbles. So one manufacturer would only have intelligence on the exact equipment that he would deploy. And now we're looking at deep learning, which is the next phase, which is the multi-layered approach. And I'll give you an example. You have sensors that will be deployed for irrigation systems. Well, okay, well, these sensors are local from machine to machine learning only. Meaning that, okay, he will connect to see what the weather is and how much the moisture is in the ground, and then he will deploy the, how much water that is needed. I think Barcelona saw it. Smart cities yeah, have got them. They have. They have I'll them. give you an example of how they benefit in Barcelona. Excellent. So, what I would like to see is something more than that, right? More deep learning happening in there. I want the sensor to know what type of tree is there, what type of, how much water each tree needs. So it has to have more intelligence by gathering all those statistics together in type of a big database where they can perform big data analytics on it to determine what is actually needed and then do their analytics. That's where it becomes more collaborative. Now, when it becomes more cost effective, if you look at uh, Barcelona, they did the smart connected waste management system where they enabled all the uh, trash cans with sonar sensors. And these sonar sensors would detect the amount of trash that was in there. Now, when they would send out their, uh, their uh, trash uh, trucks, they'd go with their normal route, finish, and come right back. Half of them were empty. Others were too full. They couldn't collect them all. With this, in real time, on the go, they were able to immediately adjust the traffic pattern of the truck to address what was actually needed. That way they did not have to buy more trucks, go back to second rounds, leave trash in the market. 
They were able to clean it all up in one go, more efficiently, optimized, and it changes the behavior. So when they did their ROI and, R and TCO on this, they found that they would save $4 billion in 10 years. Over 10 years. Over 10 years. So now they can take that $4 billion and work on more investments on how to make that city a bit more smart. All right? So you see that just because in the beginning you don't see the value of a smart communities, smart cities, smart buildings, smart home, but you will find more governments now are starting to integrate within this and you see this is the disruption that's happening. Here in Saudi Arabia, we are moving in that direction. Do we need to do it at a smaller scale? Or a yes, or a definitely. Usually it's a, what uh, do we call it, piloting proof of concept somehow on a large, smaller scale before cascading they and going do. to when you see country wide, national wide. Or me, and you, me and you agree. The others might not agree with us. So this is where the pilot comes in. So you have uh, multiple entities, because when you talk about smart city, it's multiple entities, multiple governments being involved in that. So you need to make sure that by building a small pilot, you can actually justify and show how it will benefit in the long run from individuals, behaviors, and uh, <laughs> هيئة الملكية في الجبال وينبع هل مدينة الملك عبد الله الاقتصادية كيك هل هذه الاكزامبلز that we can run a smart city uh, pilot a proof of concept to we see could, and yes. then we roll we could or we can look at another entity something new something brand new something we haven't tried before because sometimes when you work with an existing organization it's too complex to really start up and get it going Sometimes we would divert and find something that's fresh, fresh minds. We want fresh people, fresh minds to really push to the edge and see how we can build that foundation. Now, with all these devices and all of these uh, data con collected and sensors, we do. It's a, we cannot do anything without proper analysis. So where there the big data comes into the pictures and where you could have it. What can you tell us about, you know, and when sensors are collecting data, if we cannot truly, uh, truly make use of it, then it's, it's no, it's no, there is no point. Uh, you're collecting all of this and you're, how, how big data and analytical part comes to the picture and, and where can that come? Well, um, it's not really my expertise, but uh, I'm sorry <laughs> if I, uh, <laughs> let me uh, uh, try to, uh, to ex kind of, Give it my uh, my take. So, um, so you you collect uh, you collect uh, data from sensors, and uh, sensors come from uh, 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 under different categories. So your your phone has uh, has sensors, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, your your car also has sensors. Uh, there are um, three levels of data that you will be generating. So you have uh, awareness data. So awareness data is what uh, that sensor gives you. Like uh, I go into a room, I know that this room is 25 degrees. I know the level of humidity. Okay? Um, I know how many people. Uh, so this is the awareness data that you get. And um, before, that data used to stay within the device, within the machine. So thanks to the machine to machine, which enabled IoT, that that data gets out of that machine and goes to other machines that want to make use of it. When I get that awareness data, I have to make out of it an analysis data. I have to analyze that data and how ca can this help me? So you have uh, um, you have different solutions that you use, and this, the challenge that you have is that um, it's very. Uh, the, the, the Internet of Things is, is very segregated. Every vertical has its own solutions. We're coming to that challenge. Yes. yes. That's part of the challenge. Yes. The third thing, you have the predictive data. So I take, uh, that's also the beauty of Internet of Things. I don't have to tell uh, my garage to open at, you know, uh, that I'm going to have to trigger the opening. The garage will learn on its own, and when I get closer, it will open. 
the garage would know when another car comes by, it doesn't open, right? Um, and there is a lot of other patterns. Um, so the predictive analysis is the one that comes from machine learning, from technologies that you use for like Hadoop and, uh, and uh, uh, Amazon machine learning, which is offering. Amazon is one of the enabler really of, of this uh, IoT thing with by making everything so easy to use and so affordable from getting the data on the S3 to using uh, uh, ML, a machine uh, Amazon ML or uh, uh, Redshift uh, to develop. So there is, there is a lot of solutions uh, that are very specialized that help in every sector to take the data, analyze the data, then uh, make good actions out of the data and predict what to do in the future. So the, the user has uh, 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 improves, if you will, since you talked about lifestyle, improves its, uh, his or her comfort and her lifestyle and her productivity as well. And I will I'll take one of the points that you mentioned, the model integration will Capabilities between the platforms. Uh, that's a challenge. And I can. And I don't know how much we're doing on the timing. Uh, Fatma, are we okay on the timing? I'm Coming to the challenges. Five minutes. So we can leave time for the Q and A's. Five minutes. In one minute. Challenges. We, we talked up. We talked about market size. We saw it is the future. We talked little opportunities and application. What about challenges? Is I mean, are we going uh, tomorrow to uh, to see devices and connected and smart everywhere? Yes, I think the the, bi the biggest challenge when when it comes to IoT, it's the security. اليوم يمكن سمعنا الفترة اللي راحت أك ال ال الهاكس اللي اللي صار على على majority of يمكن سمعت فيها أخوي هاب كانت through one of the sensors inside the home which is again this is the biggest risk we have عشان كذا المانوفاكتشر أو ال ال vendors أو big players في الماركت اللي هم ال leaders when it comes to technology they when when they decided to go to this they were very focus on, on making it secure as much as they can. As long as there is an IP and it is connected to the internet, the risk is there. That's why when it comes to IoT, they have invented some protocols like ZigBee and others. So they make sure the security is covered. But that is not the case. And if I would elaborate in one in, in very quick uh, time is, okay, now we have a lots of sensors inside the home. And if we talk about smart home, about smart car, smart office uh, and so on okay now the man uh, in my home i have a smart fridge i have a smart tv i have a smart kitchen and so on each company them, yes they are not talking They're between not each other yes. here is the challenge another challenge local if i may say the local companies okay now as a company and leaders samsung and cisco uh, product itself that is related to him. And I'm going to make a car, 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 etc. Okay, now here is the next peak of the revolution. How I make the machine to machine talks? Now that means, if I'm going to make a car, the 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 car, since it is smart, it gives an alert to the Amazon Go, for example. If I have a smart supermarket, it can communicate. Now, who deliver that equipment inside the home is the smart car that is and everybody is, is bidding on it. But all this communication, had here the next, and I say, the optimum big uh, revolution had the IoT itself. And we will reach the point where all the devices communicate without the interference of everybody. Do you think the interconnectivities, security? You agree very much on the security that we can be talking about. Would you like to mention something in that regards? I don't know the security, though I was hoping in the end to talk about the power of the devices, the sensors. Again, 
we we have we're connected we have a smart uh, watch but messages in the matter and young whatever so your sensor should be sometimes even the lifespan of what years to come and i cannot change meters حقتنا when you deploy it كل اسبوع ولا شهر so uh, but since you mentioned يعني شفتك excited about the security would like to well, say something oh well there is no question that security is a is a is a main uh, threat I, i don't there is there is not much to add to this is just that um, uh, out of security there are a couple of other challenges that will uh, uh, that kind of are in impediment to the to the adoption of uh, of uh, the internet of things as as a f- as full solutions internet of things is there whether you want it or not you use it to some extent on your phone and sometimes with your tv and so on and so forth uh, but the fact that there is no unified standards makes it very hard to protect the fact that every ID, uh, every sensor has an id and most sensors are open i'll give you an example of of uh, uh, of a little risk Uh, that all of us can uh, can probably relate to. Imagine you have those Nest thermostat, and somebody can hack into it and turn everybody's temperature inside the house to 100 degrees. Right? It could be. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to hack hack into. You know, so when somebody wants to do it. So uh, imagine somebody will hack into your car and make it go 150 miles per hour, <laughs> and you can't stop it. So those are really major issues. So the fact that there is no standard protocol, the fact that this is very, uh, uh, Akram, he, he mentioned that this is a, a, a major uh, disruptive resolution, uh, revolution, which it is. Uh, it, it is a large, uh, uh, it's the largest after the industrial revolution uh, about 100 years ago. Um, and what's interesting in this revolution If I analyze, uh, analyze innovation as different S-curves, you have the S-curve of uh, inventing electricity, the S-curve of the auto, the S-curve of computing, and so on and so forth. The S-curve of the internet, that was the major enabler in the 90s, uh, and then the networks, This every single S-curve had a clear leader. The S-curve of computing with HP, and then IBM, internet. Who's the leader then? That's the okay. that's that's okay. the interesting We part. The leader here. And the fact no that you lack Cisco, leader, yani, ala rasta, what Cisco? <laughs> yeah, actually, we discussed this earlier. I was mentioning that in in previous S curves, in previous innovation cycles, those leader, those innovators are never leaders in the next innovation. They're relevant. Let's talk about social media innovation. Facebook is clear leader. In, in that S curve, it brought it took um, it took over from the first uh, leg of the S, where High Five and MySpace were were with the early adopters, and, and basically Facebook took it to the to the to the uh, the leg that takes it to the mass uh, to the mass adoption, right? And then the S goes like this: you have small players, WhatsApp, Instagram. So that's the, the this is how an S curve looks like and for I innovation. Should, uh, and I've been told to wrap up. Okay, <laughs> let me just make this point. For uh, so Google could never fight with Facebook. It remained relevant in the social network. So because we don't have a leader, we don't have a standard, a unified standards. So uh, we will have other issues, which is who is going to take care of the issue when there is a problem? Is it Cisco? Or is it the uh, system integrator? Is it the software or is it the hardware? Because you never know. It's going to yani be a Google, blame game. Google, if you mentioned Nest, Google started Nest with three point something billion dollar. Yeah. Samsung bought SmartThink right. another few hundred billi- uh, million. They're not a billion, but we will see more acquisitions and buy out in that ecosystem before we see a leader uh, comes out. Would you like to, to comment? Well, Atruk, Atruk, Tariq, Akhir, and I think the last word for I think it's very, very broad. What people will do, what companies will do, is they'll focus in areas that they excel. Excel in this area, so we see computing structure. We see these are the main components and enablers. So we would like to excel in that. What about the cloud, Tariq? Cloud is the cloud is there, eh? right? The so cloud is the suppository of all the data. We do is we so cloud is an integral part of this, the IoT. This, this, we cannot, we so will not see massive uh, implementation, the de- deployment without the cloud. 
without a, exactly this. That's why I'm Since we mentioned the cloud, actually, cloud is the pillar of yeah. IoT. Because ما في أحد إذا اليوم أنا بروح في البيت وعندي سمارت هوم وكله سنسورز وآي بيز وكونكتيفيتي. So that means I would have a data center in my house to 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 adapt this. I mentioned the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. That's meaning yes. The main pillar for this revolution is the cloud because we'll have a huge number of connected devices that cannot be hosted in a local data center or a local server inside the home. So that means there. This is the the key of of delivering the service. How do I package it? How do I simplify it? How I do I make it as a cost effective? I have to wrap up. Yeah. One word from all one of you live. Who's who is the most important in the ecosystem today? We'll see. Hardware, software, and cloud, data analytical system, local system. Who's in your? Everyone says. You know, from your perspective, what what do you think? And from my own perspective, the, the driven is the software, and that's why we live in a smart, everything is a smart. Uh, today we saw all the initiatives, our application software uh, that is connected to the, to the application, because and I think we'll have a connected devices, that means I need a key to communicate with this, so software is the driven for the next. And I feel it's in two phases. Okay. If you don't have a foundation, you're going nowhere. I feel hardware is the initial foundation. And next, it will definitely be software, big data, and analytics. This analytics. will drive. This what will drive the future. So if you're starting up, if you're not into the hardware, then I suggest you start now looking at analytics and data analytics. It's the human being and the society. You can choose to be efficient and build the, the, the factory of the future the smart world and the smart body, or you can choose to be the disconnected. Do you think people yeah. will change, uh, will resist change? Yeah. It's a human nature, definitely. It's a human Alas, nature. <laughs> we'll open the floor, uh, questions. Uh, no questions? No questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. I hope uh, you have, yeah. uh, okay. uh, uh, on, on, yani you can take, go away with useful information. Shukran uh, lil panelists, shukran jazeelan. Uh, thank you very much, um, and uh, enjoy thank the rest of your day for the event for Arabnet. Thank you for having us.